So let's paint the picture here. It's Valentine's Day. It's a day for you to get with all your loved ones and have a great time with them and spend quality time together. Now, what if you don't have a Valentine, right? That's what I'm here for. I'm not going to be your Valentine. But yeah, let's get into it. Step one. Step one is you want to have as much bad food possible on Valentine's Day for yourself. I'm talking chocolate bars. I'm talking Rice Krispie treats. I'm talking really sugary banana bread. All of that. Any type of cookies you like, except for oatmeal raisin, because those are actually, I mean, you should have those year-round, because they're good. Anyone who hates oatmeal raisin cookies, show yourself in the comments and we can have a nice talk about why you're wrong. But you want to have as much bad food possible, because, you know, when, you, when, you're, when you're in a relationship in Valentine's Day, for those of you that know, you, you, get, you give candy to your loved one, you give chocolate to your loved one, all of that sugary goodness goes to them. What do you get, right? Well, ideally, you should get some from them. But in this case, you're alone, you're a loner, and the candy you should get for them goes to you instead and so the dopamine that you give them stays in you and you become happier so your lonely valentine's day becomes just that much better and that's just the first of the few tips that i have this year for you guys and don't forget the rant i made like four years ago about why applesauce can fall underneath this category because it's actually really sugary some some little boy said four years ago said that he told me anyways let's go on to step two Step two is a personal favorite of mine, is you just want to not care about your appearance at all on Valentine's Day, because unless you have a date, in which in that case you should not be watching this video because this is for people who don't have dates only, if you don't have a date, who do you have to look nice for? Your family's not going to care. Your friends aren't going to care. All the, the only person that's going to care is you, and you don't have to do that. You can just say, you know, I look terrible, and that's fine. I'm going to be laying in bed all day doing nothing, eating my unhealthy food that I mentioned in the last step. You don't have to look nice to do that, right? I mean... I don't think I look perfect right now. You you think after, what, now four, f four, I think, four years of making this video, I would have thought to shower before making, like, right before the video? Uh, this is possibly the nicest my hair has looked any of these videos, but, I mean, I still didn't shower right before. I showered this morning. No, I didn't. I showered last night. Night showers, again, you're the right ones. Night showers are better. Fight me in the comments again. I dare you. But the point is, you don't have to, like, you know... You don't have to look good on Valentine's Day. Nobody's making you. Unless you have a date, in which that case, click off the video right now and go spend time with them, okay? Okay. Step number three. You all know it. You all love it. It's the classic idea that if you're out in public, if you're in school, if you're, out, if you're at work, if you're at college, if you're at a family gathering, if you're at a friend's house, if you're at a party, if you're at anything, and you see a couple and you're like, I wish that was me. If you feel that feeling of jealousy and stuff, all you have to do is just take two pencils and take them to your eyes like that. It's been working for four years for me personally. Whenever I see one of those just situations, all you gotta do is just pencil to the eyes. I'm telling you, it works. Because if you don't do that and you just see that happen and you just let that emotion sink in, you're gonna feel just like hecka jealous. And that's just not what we want, is it? That's why I'm making this video, is to teach you how to not be like that. And one of those tips is to take pencils to your eyes. It works. Try this at home. If, <laughs> try, try this at home if you see the situation happening. It will work. Trust me. It's a tip. It's working for four years. You cannot trust me more. I'm just saying. Step number four is an absolute classic, let me tell you. It is you want to distract yourself as much as possible from anything that might make you feel lonely. Now... There's a lot of things out there in this in the world today that can make you feel lonely, right? I mean, TikTok, social media in general just has, oh, couple posts after couple posts after couple posts. And you think that, you're like, dang, I wish I had somebody to send this to, or dang, I wish I had somebody to add in this. But what you have to do to avoid that is just find things that have absolutely nothing to do with Valentine's Day. I'm talking, like, video games, like I've mentioned before, and I forget what year it was, but I'm saying, like, like you can play video games, you can, you can read a book, a non-romance book, of course, read, like, a, a mystery book or something, read... Something that's going to make you not think of couples and love and hearts and everything, because that's going to make you feel lonely. You could also, I don't know, do a puzzle, do a, do, a, do a word search, do anything you can to just distract yourself from the harsh truth that you're alone on Valentine's Day. So do as you will, find ways to distract yourself, and that helps numb the, the pain just, just that much, and that makes a difference with the rest of the tips. So keep that in mind. Now, in the last four years, I've had a special solution for each video um, exclusive to that one. So this video also has an exclusive little bonus at the end for another tip on how you guys can stay happy on a lonely Valentine's Day. Year number one, I had a weird skit. Year number two, I brought in my dog. Year number three, 
And year number four, I made a cake with some friends. Now, year number five, here is my new pristine cream of the crop solution for you guys. Let's go upstairs and find out. All right, hey, welcome to my room. This is where I'll be showing you our fifth and final, for this episode at least, tip on how to survive a Valentine's Day all by yourself without a partner. But first, we gotta get into uniform for this one. So, let us begin. The fifth and final step for this episode is to, is, it's to sleep. People may not like really think of it this way, but I mean, sleep is the human, just the life in general. It is natural, just numbness. It's a, it's an anesthetic for your mind to just completely block out all of reality. I mean, when you're asleep, you're in a whole different world, you know, when you're asleep, I mean, everything is completely different. I mean, it's no grasp on reality and this seems like just the thing some of you guys may need to um survive valentine's day with the harsh truth that you're all alone. Uh, sleeping for 24 hours is difficult i think my personal high is 16 or 17 hours in one sleeping so sleeping from 12 a.m february 14th to 12 a.m february 15th might be difficult yeah i agree it probably will be but if you put your mind to it you can do it and you can just completely block out the entirety of valentine's day and You'll know how you want to deal about it. You want to wake up the next day and be like, you know, it's February 15th. I don't care if I have a partner or not now. So when you're sleeping, you can you can have you can have dreams. I mean, you can dream about just about anything really. And uh, that's, you can go on your own little adventure in your mind and not will completely block out all of the, the horrible, horrible realities of you being alone and stuff. And you'd be, you'll be just fine. Wake up the next day feeling refreshed and ready to begin a new day and a new year until the next Valentine's Day, which maybe then you'll have a partner. So. Without further ado, let's demonstrate. Does anything work? Do these tips work? I couldn't tell you if the tips work. These work. Does anything work? Nothing works. Does anything work? Sleep. Is this I have no idea. I'm lying to you. Tips work. Sleeping. You can. You can have. You can have dreams. camera listen i don't know if this is in real life i don't know if this is what this is but the, i just see a camera from Annie to talk i don't know where i am i don't know what's happening this i don't i think i'm dreaming really but no why why is it always you why is it always you you're not real you're not real i'm just dreaming you're not you're not real